at the construction site. Out of the way, young'uns, he's Patrick. Important, said Patrick. But Alfie and Jack were curious. Who was the most important? Transport, boasted Nelson. Without transport, there wouldn't be any construction. That makes me the most important. Nelson and Oliver were on their way to clear Henry's tunnel. Sir Topper liked being able to say hello to his friends. Hello, Nelson, Percy called. Nelson was so busy, he barely had time to honk back. He was carrying machines everywhere, from the yard to the sites, and then all the way home. Day after day, Nelson was carrying, carrying, carrying. Just once, he thought to himself, I'd like to be carried. That night, the breeze was blowing, he was enjoying himself, and he realized he was being carried. The next morning, Miss Jenny woke Nelson from his dream. Topham Hat needs you to take him to the repair yard. Nelson hoped his friend Thomas was all right. When Nelson arrived, he saw Thomas had come off the rails. We'll get you back in no time, replied Nelson. Nelson had to be very careful. Nelson struggled as he winched. When a steamroller put together, Nelson exclaimed. Soon Nelson was on his way. But Thomas was heavy. Nelson had to work very hard. He puffed, he panted, he pulled. Soon they were making excellent time. Thomas was impressed. Thank you, said Nelson. I'd like to be carried sometime, said Nelson. But who would be big enough to carry me? Soon they arrived at the repair yard. Well done. Said Nelson was tired, but he felt very proud. You can leave Thomas on the low loader, said. Yes, sir, said Nelson. I'll drive as fast as I can. That I'm taking you, cried Percy. Nelson could not believe what he had heard. Soon Nelson was aboard Percy's low loader, and with a shout of, Thank you, everyone, they were off. Percy was giving Nelson a splendid ride. It was as magical as he had dreamed. The sky was blue, the trees were green. What an excellent day, said Nelson cheerfully. Percy was happy. His friend was enjoying himself. Thank you, said Nelson.